The Megasum enzymic procedure for the measurement of yeast beta-glucan is shown in this diagram. The yeast sample containing beta-glucan, alpha-glucan and sugars is first washed with aqueous ethanol to remove sugars, that's if sugars are present in the sample. The sample is then hydrated by stirring in cold potassium hydroxide solution. Following this, the solution is neutralized by adding 1.6 ml of 1.2 ml sodium acetate buffer, pH 3.8, to adjust the pH to approximately 4.5. Then 40 microliters of glucosum enzyme mixture is added and the reactions are incubated at 40 degrees centigrade for 16 hours or overnight. During this process, the beta-glucan is hydrolyzed to glucose and there is little or no hydrolysis of alpha-glucan. The glucose released is then measured using GoPod reagent. Kits suitable for performing 50 assays are available from Megazyme. The kit contains the full assay method plus bottle 1, which is glucosyme enzyme preparation, a mixture of enzymes active on the beta-glucan, bottle 2, GoPod reagent buffer, bottle 3, GoPod reagent enzymes, Bottle 4, D-glucose standard solution. Bottle 5, yeast control, beta-glucan preparation. Bottle 6, control starch preparation. Use the contents of bottles 1, 4, 5 and 6 as supplied. Dilute the contents of bottle 2 to 1 litre with distilled water. Transfer some of this solution to a small beaker and use this to dissolve the contents of bottle 3. Bottle 2 contains sodium azide as a preservative, so safety gloves must be used during all of these operations. Transfer the contents of bottle 3 back into the measuring cylinder and use some of the buffered solution to wash the bottle out completely. Transfer all the solutions to a one litre brown storage bottle. This is sealed and stored at 4 degrees centigrade between use. At 4 degrees centigrade, this reagent is stable for up to three months. For longer term storage, store aliquots of the solution at minus 20 degrees centigrade. Other reagents required for this determination are sodium acetate buffer 200 millimolar of pH 5, sodium acetate buffer 1.2 molar pH 3.8 and potassium hydroxide 2 molar. These are prepared according to the description in the booklet. Weigh approximately 20 milligram of sample, correct to the nearest 0.1 milligram into a 16 by 100 millimeter Fisher-Brand culture tube. Record the weight. Remove the tube from the balance and tap the tube to ensure that all of the sample falls to the bottom of the tube. Add 0.4 ml of 2 ml of potassium hydroxide to each of the test tubes. Then add a 5 by 15 mm stirring bar to each. Cap the tubes and stir the contents for 30 minutes in an ice water bath over a magnetic stirrer.
Remove the tubes from the ice water bath and to each of them add 1.6 mil of 1.2 mil of sodium acetate buffer pH 3.8 or 4 times 0.4 mil. Mix the tube contents well on a vortex mixer and then add 40 microliters of glucosine enzyme to each tube. Cap the tubes, stir the contents on a vortex mixer and then continue stirring the ice water bath for a few minutes to ensure that the suspension is completely suspended. Remove the tubes from the ice water bath and place into a water bath set at 40 degrees centigrade. Incubate the tubes without stirring overnight or for approximately 16 hours. Remove the tubes from the water bath and remove the caps and then add 10 mils of water to each tube. Recap the tubes and mix the contents thoroughly. Remove the caps from the culture tubes and then use magnets to remove the magnetic stirrer bar from the tube. Transfer the tubes to a bench centrifuge and centrifuge the tubes at 3000 RPM for 10 minutes. Carefully transfer 0.1 mil aliquots of the sample in duplicate to the bottom of 16 by 120 millimeter test tubes. Prepare the reagent blank by adding 0.1 mL of sodium acetate buffer, 200 millimolar of pH 5 to the bottom of test tubes in duplicate. Prepare the glucose standard by adding 0.1 mL of glucose standard solution, 1.5 mg per mL the bottom of four test tubes. Add four mils of GoPod reagent to each of the reaction tubes, the glucose standard solutions and the reagent blanks. You should also include a control sample in these incubations with a known level of beta-glucan content. Mix the tube contents thoroughly on a vortex mixture, mixer and then incubate the tubes for 20 minutes at 40 degrees centigrade.
The reagent blank is used to zero the spectrophotometer at 510 nanometers and then the absorbances of the beta-glucan samples and of the glucose control or standard are read against the blank. The beta-glucan content of the sample is calculated as shown in the equation here where delta E is the absorbance read against the reagent blank F is the conversion from absorbance to micrograms. It's 150 micrograms of D-glucose divided by the GoPot absorbance for this amount of glucose. 12.04 over 0.1 is the volume correction. 0.1 mL is taken from 12.04 mL for the analysis. 1 over 1,000 is conversion from micrograms to milligrams. W is the weight of the sample analyzed in milligrams. 100 over W is a factor to convert uh, the beta-glucan to a percentage of sample weight. 162 over 180 is a factor to convert from free glucose to an anhydro D-glucose occurs in beta-glucan. These calculations can be simplified by reference to the MegaCalc, which can be downloaded from the Megazum website where the product appears.